to Welcome back, everyone, to our FX Trading 101 lesson sponsored by Forest Park FX. I'm Rob Booker. You can go to robbooker.com for more information about what I do. In this lesson, I want to talk to you about a pip. A pip is the basic unit of measurement or value when a currency pair moves. This is probably the greatest source of confusion with uh, traders all across the globe. We talked in the last lesson about a currency quote. For example, we talked about a, excuse me, a currency pair. And we talked about, for example, the Euro USD is a currency pair. What you will see inside of your FX dealers platform is a quote. And it will look something like this. For example, I'm going to move over here so this is a little bit easier to see. It will look something like this. One dot 29015. The 5 is purposefully smaller. So I did that on purpose. A pip is the basic unit of measurement that we talk about in the world of currency trading. And it is the fourth number after the decimal place on most currency pairs. 1.2901. So Nate, which one is the pip? The 1 is the pip. And if that moves from 1.2901 to 2900, how many pips have we moved down? 1. We've moved 1 pip down because we went from 1 to 0. Now, there's this other number. In most trading platforms now, you're going to see a fifth number at the very edge of all these quotes over here in your platform. A lot of people are referring to this as a pip at. It's a smaller pip. It's a fraction of that. Um, let's, let's, talk about, let's, let's talk about what the value of this pip is a little bit later. So before we talk about how much that's worth and how much money that represents, what we need to do is make sure that we're on the same page about how to read the quote in the first place. So on the Euro US dollar, the British pound US dollar, the Australian dollar slash US dollar, US dollar, are you seeing a, are you seeing a pattern here? So for the Australian USD and everything else against the US dollar, for all of those, every single time you see a Australian dollar, US dollar, British pound, US dollar, Euro, US dollar, every single time, The fourth number is the pip. That's a pip. So if it moves from 2901 to 2902, that's one pip up. From 2901 to 2900 even, that's one pip down. Now this all changes if we're looking at Japanese yen major currency pairs. So for example, the currency pair US dollar, Japanese yen. This quote is going to have a different set of numbers. For example, right now, just look and see what the quote is, 106.91. So here we go. 106.91 is the quote. And there will be a small number here. Uh, the second number after the decimal place, in this case, the 1, is the pip. And the third number after the decimal place is the pipette. So Nate, if we move from 29, uh, excuse me, 106.91 to 106.92, how many pips have we moved up? One. one. So we've moved one pip up. Now what that is worth, we'll talk about in the next lesson. But this is really important. Now, this fifth decimal, or third decimal in the Japanese yen pairs, this one is confusing to a lot of people. And, that's not a full pip. That's, that's a fraction. That's a tenth of a pip. It's a pipette. It doesn't matter. And I always ignore that number when I'm looking at quotes. In fact, when you pull up an order window with your broker, the, the pip will be the, the last large number. And the pipette will be this smaller number off to the side. You can kind of see it in this video and, and maybe not. But even they reduce the size of the pipette. And it's just not an important number. 
But you want to be able to talk in terms of pips. You want to be able to use this terminology. You want to be able to, you're going to hear people say things like, the US dollar Japanese yen moved 50 pips today. You're going to see terms like that. Or you're going to see people talk about the average daily range for the British pound US dollar is 100 pips. And that means that it's moving 100 of those little numbers that it refers to. Uh, anyway, that's, let's wrap this one up. I want to thank our sponsor, Forest Park FX, for making this video possible and all the other ones in this course. Interested in FX trading? Contact Forest Park FX to open an account and get cashback rebates on every trade you place. Go to forestparkfx.com. Uh, trading Forex involves a substantial risk of loss. Terms and conditions apply. I will see you in the next video, everybody.